what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today what i got here is the dt140 here once again but do you notice anything different yeah my props are mounted on the opposite side see this one is spinning counterclockwise where it normally should be spinning clockwise and into the camera so is this one here see how i got it spinning clockwise instead of the normal counterclockwise rotation on this part of the arm so what i have here is props spinning away from the inside the middle portion of the quadcopter where the camera is now why would you want to do that first of all well the main one of the main reasons why is to get the debris that's coming in on a normal spinning uh, quadcopter where it spins this way all of the debris kicked up as you are crashing or when you hit something or a tree branch or grass or whatnot it will spin in like this and directly onto the camera itself and all of the debris will be stuck on the camera but since now i have my props rotating and the motors rotating the opposite direction where it's spinning away from the camera and the middle of the quadcopter all of the debris that i get kicked up if i crash into the dirt or hit a tree branch and leaves and hit some grass it will spin all of the debris away from the middle of the quadcopter and out towards the front so none of the debris will get stuck on the lens itself meaning you will have a clear vision even if you hit some leaves and whatnot but if the props are spinning on a normal going in basis um, some of the debris and whatnot will get stuck onto the lens and sometimes that will kind of uh, blur your vision while you're flying and you don't want that happening while you're doing critical maneuvers and stuff like that so let me show you another quadcopter i have here that i have all kinds of debris and stuff stuck on the camera lens here is my fury b 215 x215 pro which i love to fly and i still have the props spinning the normal way i haven't reversed this one yet but i just wanted to show you and i got all kinds of different color props on this thing because i keep breaking them as you can see it's filthy in the front here now this area over here are debris i can probably clean that out with some baby wipes or something like that and clean it out now as you can see on the lens itself i got all kinds of stuff stuck on the lens now some of this is debris but some of this is actual scratches directly onto the lens from hitting dirt and the props picking up some of the dirt and throwing it onto the lens and actual scratches little tiny little specks of scratches so when you watch my fpv feed video on the x215 pro i have all kinds of little specks on the video uh, feed itself so that is kind of very uh, filthy looking and you don't want that that's kind of undesirable uh, as you can see i got all kinds of muck stuck on the front of the quark up there nothing on the side so what will happen if you change the rotation of the props and the motors well instead of kicking all of the stuff into the camera it will kick it out but it will be as if this will be the front of the clock up there where there's no camera. So if all kinds of muck and debris gets thrown to the side of the quad copter, then all you got to do is just clean it out. It's not going to bother anything. So there's not much of a disadvantage if you were to change the prop direction and the motor direction. Now, some people claim that it actually makes the quad copter perform well. Um, and I've flown my DT140 after I changed the prop direction, the motor direction. And I'm not quite sure if that is true. Maybe I will testify and say I can see maybe about a 1%, perhaps maybe 2%, a uh, little bit better performance by um, making the props rotate the opposite direction. But I couldn't really tell. It flew just about the same thing. Uh, if not, maybe, uh, like I said, 1% or 2% better. So I can't really attest to that. But definitely, it gets the debris uh, flying away from the lens instead of going into the lens. Now, 
Some people also claim that it also decreases prop wash when the props are spinning the opposite way. Now, I didn't quite um, notice that either, maybe 1%, maybe 2%, but um, as far as I'm concerned, it almost behaved almost exactly the same. Perhaps it could have been one or two percent better on the prop wash, but I couldn't I couldn't really tell by flying it a couple of times now. But the main uh, benefits of reversing the prop direction is the fact that it kicks the dirt away from the middle of the quadcopter and from your uh, FPV camera and also any kind of objects as well. So if you are traveling directly at a tree branch and or tree branches coming straight for, to you and your props are spinning the normal way what it will do is it will grab that tree branch and bring it in and perhaps wind it up and bring a bigger part of the tree branch onto the quadcopter and you'll get stuck on the tree branch or <laughs> worse you know you might crack a camera lens or something and bring the object directly into the camera lens but by having the props spin out once that branch is coming towards the middle of the quadcopter it will actually push it out and away and there you go your quadcopter is flying away from whatever it was going to come into the middle of the quadcopter so it pushes any of the objects away from the quadcopter instead of pulling that object into the quadcopter so i can see a lot of benefits just by changing the prop rotation just right there if it all if it does at all help in performance and if it does help at all in the prop wash that's two reasons already right there but the main two reasons is the debris going right into the camera itself and any kind of objects it can actually uh, push away the object as it's uh, traveling forward so that is just awesome now this quadcopter here came with motors that are all the same it does not have a counterclockwise motor or a clockwise motor so the prop nut they all tighten clockwise on all of the four motors so by reversing the rotation of the motors um, I'm not changing anything at all two of them will be kind of self-tightening and two of them will not be but um, if you've got a quadcopter like this, where this one here uh, spins clockwise and this one here spins counterclockwise and you have the prop nuts tightening the opposite way, this prop nut tightens clockwise, but the motor spins counterclockwise. It's a counterclockwise rotating motor. And this one here is a clockwise rotating motor, which has the prop nut tightening counterclockwise so it's self-tightening so if you got a quadcopter like this and on this one if i were to change the prop direction what i will have to do and it would be wiser to do is actually place this motor on this side and place this motor on this side so after you have changed the direction of the props rotation your prop nuts will still kind of be self-tightening all right so that would be a wiser thing to do on a quadcopter like this so there's the benefits of changing the prop direction so let's go ahead and take a look at how to go about doing that it is very easy to do all you got to do is go into the bl heli configurator and change the direction of your motors on each of the escs and then after you have done that go into beta flight and go into the configurator and change the direction of your motors as well so let's go ahead and check that out all right guys so here we are in via heli configurator i got my micro usb cable stuck onto my dt140 i got the props completely all removed and there goes the final prop and now i'm going to go ahead and connect the quadcopter to the computer all right so let's go ahead and connect to bl heli configurator and in Bia Holly Configurator, you will need to remove the props, and which I done, and power up the quadcopter. Okay, and go ahead and read the setup, and get into the actual ESC setups page. Now I've already reversed it, so I'm not going to unreverse it. But as you can see on my motor number one or the ESC number one, it says normal. 
but before I changed it to normal, it was reversed. This is how the quadcopter came out of the box. And this is the way it was spinning on a normal uh, rotation. So what I have done was I went into here and I changed it to normal. So now ESC number one, motor direction is spinning the opposite direction. So is ESC number two. So all of my ESCs uh, came out of the box uh, reversed. So that's the way it was set. So I changed it all to normal. And what I've done was I hit right setup. And once it has finished writing the setup and reading the setup, and all you got to do is disconnect and get out of BL Heli Configurator. So here we go, getting out of BL Heli Configurator. All right, so what you want to do next is to go into Betaflight Configurator. And here I am, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. All right, so we are in the setups page. What you want to do in Betaflight is go to the configurations page, click it, and uh, like I said, I already have it reversed, but this is how it looks like after you have changed it. Uh, motor direction is reversed. Once you hit this little button here, a little red writing will come up and it will say reverse. As you can see, my motors are spinning out instead of in. So if you did not, it will be just like this. This is how it is normally. The motors will be spinning inwards to the middle of the quadcopter and so will the motors in the back. So just going to config and just go ahead and click this baby here, which will in turn let the flight controller know that the motors are spinning the opposite way. So all you gotta do is go here and save and re And that is it, so that is all you gotta do. You are done, all right? So let's go ahead and disconnect out of beta flight. All right, so now we have done the configuration in both BL Heli Configurator and Beta Flight Configurator. So what you wanna do is go ahead and test it out before you put the actual props on. So I have the flight controller still connected to my computer. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the battery. And I'm going to go into the motors tab in Beta Flight and turn on the I understand the risks. And let's go ahead and check out the motor direction. So I got a little piece of paper cut out and let's go ahead and check out motor number one. Let me go ahead and increase the Yeah, so as you can see, it is spinning counterclockwise and away from the middle of the quadcopter. So that one is working good. So let's go ahead and check out motor number three whoa i hit it a little bit too hard there so let's gradually increase it and you can see that it is spinning clockwise so that is correct and do that for all four motors just to make sure you didn't make any mistakes so that is motor number four and let's go ahead and increase it there you go so it is now spinning counterclockwise and away from the middle of the quadcopter. All right, so that is awesome. And motor number two, final test. So there you go, motor number two is spinning clockwise and away from the middle of the quadcopter and away from the camera. All right, so let's go ahead and put all of the props back on there. Okay, so I'm almost done tightening up all of the props. Uh, I got one final one. And a little tip when you're tightening up the props, get yourself one of these gloves. These are just 99 cents at the 99 cent store. It has these nice rubber on the bottom and it is perfect for grabbing onto the motor. And you can use your fingers to grab onto the prop itself when you're doing that final tightening so you don't mess up your hand. I used to use a piece of cloth. Now I use this glove with this rubber coating on the bottom. Super grippy stuff.
very very nice all right so i've got all of the props uh installed back on the quadcopter so that is just awesome now i don't have to worry about any of the debris sticking onto my fpv camera or grabbing onto a branch and then bringing that branch in and crashing right into the tree instead of bouncing off of the branch and away from the tree all right so that is it for now guys so thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time Imagination began to become a new hard work.